Every scheme which has been brought in by a very honorable prime minister, it goes to every other citizen of this country. Is there one scheme, whether it has been about education, whether it has been about the backward class, whether it has been about women and child development, it was about minorities. Please tell me one scheme which says this is not for the Adivasis or the tribal, this is not for the SC and ST, or this is not for the backward class. Every scheme is for every citizen of this country. And the schemes which have not been put across to you, into your state, Dr. Reddy, I'm sorry and I'm afraid to say that's because the kind of animosity what TRS has against uh, the Prime Minister and BJP. And we have seen it in very recent times and we had the National Executive Committee meeting very much in Hyderabad and how they went. I mean, uh, your your, pre your uh, president does not even bother to go and receive the prime minister um, at the airport. So I think it, it's just it's just that it shows that, you know, whatever you do, whatever the prime minister does, you're sitting there trying to find faults. I would suggest that please go through all the schemes. Please go through all the benefits, uh, beneficiary schemes which have been brought in for the poor and the backward class. And I'm sure it will help you to understand and run the government in a little better way. All right. I just uh, want to get into a couple of facts. And, and again, uh, I just want to go back to, to Kushbu before I go across to my other panelists. Under the Forest Rights Act, now this is something which is absolutely critical for Adivasi communities. Now, except for Tripura, none of BJP rule states has crossed even the All India average of 50.4% of claims converted to titles. So if you are looking, for example, at what the BJP has done, in this case, they've not done enough. I'll give you one more example. Allocation of funds for welfare. These are all parliament statistics. The actual allocation for tribals was just 4.9% in 2018, 2019. That rose to 7.3% in the budget estimates for 2022, 23. But the mandated amount is 8.2%. So we are still short over there. So is this essentially lip service? That's the question. Kushbu. No, it's not a lip service. Please understand the kind of pandemic we have been through, the kind of economical crisis we have been through, not only in India, but world over. We have been working on schemes which will benefit uh, the Adivasis and the backward class and the tribals. We have been working on them. And every time we try to work, we, we do find people from the opposition trying to attack us. But trust us, when the country with uh, with the single largest uh, party in the entire world, in the, you know, India with BJP, I think we are moving in the right direction. And and let me tell you, it is not about political. We are not going into elections now. We still are two years away. So it's not about political. I think we need to understand that we are growing as a nation. We are growing together. Yes, nobody can, you know, finish doing the job in eight years. The kind of damage that has been done to the country in the last 68 years, it's going to take long. It's going to take long for BJP to okay. rectify and make sure that things are put in place. But give us some time. We are just eight years young. We are working towards it, and we promise that this is not about election, this is not about lip service, but this is about the progression of the country. This is about the equal rights of every citizen in our country. All right.